This year's E3 has been one of the best we've had in a while, but as it is a tradition in E3 conferences, we're always met with some form of disaster. So let's get right into it. Right, EA, here's your first fuck up. Why would you put all the games in the description? Your conference has been spoiled for me. There are four stages. Look at this guy's jumping the stage. He's like, I'm ready. I'm jumping in live. No pressure, but the camera's on. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? <laughs> No, it wasn't cringe at all, and I don't think it was cringe, but this chat, this YouTube chat, would spam out cringe every time anything happened. But let's just get on with the games. <laughs> it's been two weeks since the reveal of Battlefield 5. And you know what? It's been exciting, there's been a lot of speculation, but it's also been lots and lots of questions from the community. So we started off the Battlefield presentation with a single demonstration of one map. But that's, that's not the peak, guys. The peak, the peak is this. No loot boxes, no premium pass. <laughs> Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? Oh, but hey guys, they're about to announce a thing we've all been asking for. Royale. So, so what's the difference with this one? Oh, the, the number on the tile changed? Okay. What's going on, Vince? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I love this stuff. I love seeing new games. I mean, someone's super excited about that man on PC, right? Yeah! <laughs> After the commercial disaster of Battlefront 2, the game got so abandoned that in this year's conference, they let a hobo lead the presentation. So, we launched our game in November of last year, and clearly we didn't get it quite right. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So let's talk about the heroes and villains. First, let me introduce... Hi, it's, it's really good to see you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. <sighs> so, so what's the difference with this one? Oh, the, the number on the tile changed? Okay. So, so what's the difference with this one? Towards the end of the conference, EA had the brilliant idea to get two random nobodies to play mobile games on stage for like 10 minutes. And that's about as much as the EA conference went. So Microsoft starts off by blessing our gaming needs by announcing their first game, Lion King the video game. Oh wait, what the fuck? It's actually fucking Halo, what the fuck? Please welcome, from Bethesda Game Studios, Todd What? Howard. What? Todd, 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 this is not your conference. Go back, Todd. Go back, Todd. This is not your goddamn conference. Wait, Fallout. O okay, Todd, come back. And hey, since we're here, we thought we'd give all of you an exclusive world premiere first look at Fallout 76. Oh my god! The video gaming industry has also finally made Saints Row with a skin of Terry Crews. What we've always wanted, fellas. Kingdom Hearts. Welcome to Frozen the Video Game, Lion King the Video Game, Fix It Felix the Video Game, Tangle the Video Game, and Furry the Video Game. This trailer was replayed three times during the whole E3 event, and on all three times, they missed the fucking sound effects. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> After all these shenanigan games, we also get a Mario Kart HD DLC, guys. Yeah! Exclusive.
you honestly think you're fucking funny? We're also finally getting a sequel to The Division 1. We're getting, that's right, The Division 2. But it's basically the same piece of crap the first Division was. This is America. Don't get you sleeping now. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're making Skate 4! They're making Skate 4! I can't believe it! Fucking finally! It was about time you... What?! In E3, we were also announced Cuphead 2 with nothing else but just one more character in different stages, I think. Oh my gosh, that's the, uh, the anime character. That's the other anime character! The one from the anime- <gasps> No way, that's anime! Super anime, bro. Alright, time sticking. Next two relevant games. New zombie game, Fast and Furious a video game. There you go. Oh, and Cyberpunk 76, which by the way looks like an amazing game. Honestly, guys, like and subscribe to me if you agree with my opinion. Alright, Microsoft, you did a great job. Let's move on. Bethesda's conference budget was through the roof this year, and we could tell from the incredible musical performance given at the start. Soon after the performance, we get Brendan Fraser and Matthew Santoro giving us an explanation of what the game Rage 2 is all about. And as we're about to show you, they delivered big time. <laughs> It's really great to see Bethesda join into the mod craze by bringing us an HD reskin of Borderlands. It starts small. One game is all it takes. But legends never stay simple. Never stay small. This is action. This is story. This is competition. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know. I don't see much action in a card game. Let, let me try and view it from a different perspective. This is action. This is story. This is competition. This is easy to pick up. This is hard to put down. The first Doom was definitely a fun experience. That's it. Will you please welcome my very good friend, Mr. Todd Howard. Slap on my knob, I call up in the car. Check in with me, and do your job. But we know that most of you came here for one thing. Thank you. Fallout 76 is a 76 game in the franchise and it's taking a lot of things into consideration, such as implementing an online world to Bethesda's game style. Hell, it's so out there that they're launching it in beta mode beforehand, but only time will tell if it'll work properly. Oh my god, you nuked the shit out of people! No way! No fucking way! Bethesda is also releasing a collector's edition of Fallout 76, including this huge ass fucking head that you can put on actually. You're not supposed to put it on <laughs> unless you- Unless you really want to be made fun of. Oh, by the way, Skyrim is on Alexa now. Yep. That skit wasn't a joke. I'm gonna be honest with you, Square Enix had the worst conference yet, so I'm not even gonna go in death with it. Quickly, another damn Tomb Raider. And the guy explaining the game sounds like Tommy Wiseau. Lara will have to confront a brutal jungle environment in order to survive. More gameplay of Fast and Furious, a video game. Quite excited for this one, not gonna lie. Emo gets attacked by Tony Stark in New York. And the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer with no sound effects again. Look out! You screwed up, Square Enix. Okay, next one, Ubisoft! Okay, Ubisoft, that was the worst entrance I've ever seen. And what is this? Does this exemplify the amount of people in the whole world that will actually play Just Dance? So the first game we're showed is Piggy in a Spaceship. Oh, there's a celebrity. And I'm excited to announce today 
that the Rainbow Six Siege community is now over 3,800,000 subscribers. There's recently been a fad in E3 where saying the word fuck makes you sound more genuine, but honestly, it, it really doesn't. You're gonna steal every last fucking coin. Ubisoft had the unique idea to make another space game, but it is not like any other space game. Ubisoft wants to make sure they can make your experience as tedious and petty as possible by integrating real life toys that are attachable to your controller. And along with their dumbass game, they dragged my boy Fox along. They said it, not me. I wanted to invite Fox and his crew into the game. Hi everyone, I'm Delphine Dosset, brand director on The Crew 2. In just a few days, freedom will be yours. Freedom to get your hands on your dream car, bike, boat or plane and unleash your passion for motorsports. After all those games were soon presented with Assassin's Creed Greece. This game takes place in Greece and all your actions revolve around changing the world of Greece. Assassin's Creed for me has always been a very boring game. It's always a linear story that I do not enjoy much but I have to admit this game looks pretty nice. Greece. This conference was so fucking bad. I, I'm just gonna go quick with this one because it was so shit. Hello everyone at the Will Turn. Welcome to the PC Gaming Show. Yes. The game No Man's Sky should have been. What, what the fuck is this? Fucking Barbie game scene? What, the, <laughs> what is this? Maverick's Probing Grounds is a brand new PUBG sequel managed by the one and only Todd Howard's son. But he didn't follow in his dad's footsteps. Oh my god. So Star Control is an open universe action RPG. You can visit dozens of aliens. Alright, this is going a bit too slow. I'm just gonna speed it up from here. Jurassic Park Tycoon. Wally the video game. Bad graphics the video game. Another Walking Dead game. Even though nobody cares, just like the show. Sims Hospital Edition. Realm- Oh, fuck this game. Ooblets more like Nooblets, am I right? Hitman and uh, actual Hitman walks on stage, which is, uh, it's pretty cool. Go to maneatergame.com now to book your vacation. Operators are standing by. Cheers, Sean. Man Eater looking tasty there, and I can't believe they named a game after my favorite weekend activity. For once, I'm going to be serious, and I'm going to say Sony had a spectacular conference showing us gameplay footage of The Last of Us 2. I never played the first one because I, I only have a PlayStation 2, but the game looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks great. So good on Sony for that. Oh my god, I can't believe they referenced Logan Paul. During the Sony conference, we also got a first look at Skyrim 6. We also got a Ratatouille simulator, which is super awesome. Oh my god, that's not Ratatouille! That is not Ratatouille! Okay, so this time they showed another Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, but even though this was a completely different trailer, they forgot the sound effects again! How do you do that? How do you fuck up that bad? Get them! Sora! Oh. Oh. They didn't even put the voice lines. They forgot the voice lines! Then we get a trailer or gameplay. I don't know what it is, but it's for Death Stranding. I'm convinced they don't know where they're going with this game still. You still don't know who I am, do you? No, not really. Then we get some bomb ass gameplay for Mr. Stark I Don't Feel So Good Simulator. The Nintendo conference consisted on 25 minutes. 
of pure Super Smash Bros. They left nothing up to secrecy. They flat out gave you the game right then and there. We also got Fortnite on Nintendo Switch and Reggie. Reggie, what do you think about this year's E3? Hello, yes, I'm Reggie. I think it was fucking ass. Lara will have to confront a brutal jungle environment in order to survive.